Hey guys, Mayo here, and today we're going to be talking about uh, Intergalactic JC, or uh, No Hex Just Chairs he changed his name to for some odd reason. Like, I don't know what the point of that is. Uh, he's been in, like, Mindplex News and Controversy several times, and he recently just got network banned. And so I'm going to uh, talk about that today. Um, so basically, uh, t first thing I'm going to start off with his thoughts on clans and give some of my own thoughts on clans. Now, this thread had nothing to do with... Uh, him getting banned, but in my opinion, it was unlocked for an unfair reason. Now, I understand that Mindplex is its own, like, business or whatever, and it could do whatever it wants and ban whoever it wants, but, you know, I'm still going to give my opinions on it and, like, why I think it actually may be harmful to Mindplex at, from a business perspective. Um, so, basically, Intergalactic starts off by talking about how, like, Clans has been anticipated for over a year and how there was a bunch of hype over it. And, obviously, people were really excited when it came out. And the overall result, kind of disappointing. And really, there's really no other way to put it. I mean, there's quite a few problems, but they do have easy fixes. And he points it out, and he even offers solutions to them. So first off is dominant and overpowering factions. Now, this is generally speaking a problem on pretty much every single faction server. But it's especially problematic on Mindplex, because they'll basically like control all the good stuff which they'll use to take control and get all the legendary stuff, and no one else is even going to have a chance. Especially when they roam around spawn and kill anyone, like, so that no one else has a chance to even leave spawn without getting killed by them. Um, so, I don't think he actually mentions this, but a good way to fix that would be, like, a sign that would teleport you to random coordinates. That way you don't have to worry about, like, you know, getting, uh, spawn, like, killed every time you leave spawn by some high-level, uh, clan. I mean, the only way around that is if you log in at, like, 3 in the morning when they're not online. But, I mean, who's going to do that? Especially, like, in the middle of the school year. I mean, unless you have, like, no life or you're able to, like, sneak downstairs and turn on the computer without your parents noticing. You know, you're probably not going to do that. Um, so, and especially if, like, the overpowered clans ally with each other. If they go to war with each other, then it could be balanced because they weaken each other, which distracts them long enough for other people to grow, but if they're allied with each other, no one else has a chance. It's really not fun. And not only will this be bad for new players, but it'll cause an increase in hacking and false reporting, because really the, those are the only two ways to beat an overpowered guild, hacking and false reporting. And false reporting is going to increase a lot more, because with hacking, it's easier to get caught and you'll get banned pretty quickly, because these are high-level players who will just record you and get you banned, because you know they're more influential with the staff. So false reporting, newer RP members, like trainees, don't really know most of the time who the top level players are. E even most mods don't. Well, some mods. And so they'll accept the report, and then the person will end up getting banned or muted. And yeah, I mean, they could obviously show how the report is fake if there's a mistake in it, and then they'll get unbanned, but not before some damage is done. And then, uh, plus most people will just false report their alt, so that's no loss to them. And obviously it'll hurt the high level, not only does it hurt the high level clan, it hurts the server because it makes them look bad. Um, I don't really need to go into why false reporting is bad, we've covered that more than enough on this channel. Um, he also talks about, like, you know, the cycle and of how that, and long wait time. 60 seconds to go to spawn. Who the heck thought of that idea? Like, seriously! Whose bright idea was that? I'm not going to be... Like, he actually was very polite about this. I'm not going to be polite, because that is the stupidest idea ever. I mean, seriously, I've always considered, like, 10 to 15 seconds to be excessive. I'd say 5 would do just fine. I mean, I get the idea is that you don't, people don't want to, like, TP out of battle. But, I mean, 60 seconds, that much time, someone could easily just find you while you're waiting to be teleported. Or, like, seriously... Or, like he said, that's as much time as you'd wait to play a game. You pretty much have to sit there for an entire minute. And if you have, like, a jerk little sibling or a pet that likes to, like, bang on the keyboard or jump on the keyboard, then you have to wait all over again. Or if you're, like, with a troll who will just, like, tap you at the last second, like, if you're with your friends. I mean, and then... Sometimes, like, you end up having to wait 16 minutes to get to your base if you use dash... Like... Why? What's the point? 16 minutes? Seriously? In that amount of time, I could watch a TV show. I could watch a YouTube video. I could play several games of Smash Mobs. 
16 minutes of just standing there doing, of just having to be AFK, you'll probably get AFK kicked before you even get to your base if, with 16 minutes. That needs to be, I'd say just decrease it to 5 seconds, maybe 5 to 10. I mean, seriously, that was, that was the worst idea ever. Like, whoever thought of that should be kicked off the clan team. I'm sorry. Alright, once you die and starting out. I mean, obviously, if, if you don't have any friends on the server, then, like, once you die, or, you're, or if you're just starting out, it's going to be really hard. Because you have the high-level people who are just trolling around spawn, and you don't have any supplies, so it's easy to get killed by other things. And, I mean, you know what makes this whole thing worse? The fact that Legends get to go on the server first, by the time it's released to everyone else, like, the Legends have already had their get their clans, their bases, their armor. Like, they'll have legendary weapons. And, like, once, like, the non-donors, ultras, and heroes come on, like, everyone's already set up and ready to kill them right away. Like, they won't have a chance at all unless they have friends with a legend and get into, like, a good clan. Which is really unfair to them, but, I mean... How, how are they supposed to start out if all the legends already get established long before they do? Um, In-depth tutorial. I haven't really looked at the tutorial at all, but, uh... Considering that uh, people don't really seem to get the game... I'd say that it needs improvement. I mean, at the very least, make a forum or something, or like, just like have make someone have a, make a video tutorial, and then like give players a book with a link to that tutorial or something, so that way they could watch it. I think that'd be easier, in my opinion, because I mean, a video tutorial could cover all these things and be a lot easier to make than a um, in-game tutorial, in my opinion. Um. Yeah, I mean, if and then if they end up not being able to finish the tutorial, yeah. I mean, with a video tutorial, you could even rewatch it if you need to. Glitches, I'm not really. I, it's alpha, okay? Like glitches are to be expected. Um, I'm not even if they're game breaking. You know, it's kind of to be expected, so I'm not really com going to complain about that. Same with FPS issues. That's part of being an alpha. Other possible issues, overpower. Well, I mean. Overpowered legendary weapons, I haven't seen any, so I can't count, and I mean, obviously the false reporting and hacking being on the rise because of this are probably gonna, I mean, obviously false reporting won't be done the person's main account since these have to be done by legends, but, uh, yeah, clans has some problems that need to be fixed. Now, one of the biggest reasons, though, I'm, uh, covering this is because of the threat ends up getting locked. Now, in my op opinion, Intergalactic JC is criticism was perfectly respectful like he didn't have any insults and he even offered solutions to how to fix it and I mean as you could see two people who call it flame inducing but those are probably just trolls and compared to the amount of people who call it agree informative potato love like entertaining and funny greatly outweighs that I mean, Intergalactic JC's threads are always high quality. So let's look at what happened to this thread. Yep. Yeah, it, it got locked by Chiss. Um, so it says, please review the form details on how to provide constructive criticism. The key point is offering suggestions on how you think it could be made better. Which he did. Lately saying these things suck does not get around the rules. I don't recall him saying these things suck at all. I mean, the, the closest thing that would be saying that clans was disappointing... Uh, I wouldn't really call that rude, and he actually gave good reasons as to why it was disappointing, and he offered ways to fix that. Like, he he thought about how the problem could be solved, and posted some suggestions on what they could do. Um, he contributed pos the positive change, uh, that's pretty much the same thing. Um, his goal was getting problems solved. He, the reason he makes threads like this is to get problems solved in an efficient manner. I mean, the only thing more efficient, in my opinion, would be doing something I would do, like false reporting or trolling, but obviously that would get him banned. As for the big clans rule the server, that's, yeah, like, that is an inherent part of factions, but still, I mean, if you want balanced battles, every other game on Mindplex, okay, well, that's highly debatable as for if all the other games are balanced when you think about it. I mean, just look at all the threads complaining about how this class is OP. So, uh, be careful what you say there.
Chiss. However, saying that we do have plans to have... Okay, this is actually, like, the only thing Chiss said that I actually like. This way, dominating clans won't become an issue, and false reporting and hacking all that stuff shouldn't become an issue. That, yeah, because, I mean, if the OP clans take over the server, people aren't going to want to join. I mean, so we ended up blocking the thread for what I think it was an unfair reason. As you can see, people clearly don't like it. 41 disagreements, uh, 6 agree, 2 informative. So, unlike Intergalactic JC's post, this one, the bad outweighed the good in terms of feedback by a lot. I mean... So, obviously... This is, and the, I'm obviously Chiss is the owner, so he has the right to do this. But it's kind of bad business sense. I mean, if you shut down constructive criticism like this, not only does it look bad for your business, but it'll prevent people from offering it in the future, which could be detrimental to the development of your games and hurt you in the long run. I mean, considering that Hypixel is past Mindplex in terms of player count, Mindplex should really be. Con like, take all this constructive criticism and use it to regain players and pass Hypixel again. I mean, Titan was only a temporary fix, but clans, if you actually do it right, it's like the one thing Mindplex says that Hypixel doesn't, besides Smash Mobs. And so, it. I mean, if you fix this, then you could actually repass Hypixel again. So, rather than shut down this constructive criticism, you should allow it. It, it, it could help you become the number one PC server again. I mean, again, you're a server, you do whatever you want, but it's just bad business sense. So now we're going to go discuss Intergalactic JC's network ban. Alright, so before we get started here, I just want to remind you that I understand that Mindplex is its own server and business, and it has the right to ban whoever it wants. However, I'm just going to give my thoughts on it and why it was a bad idea to ban Intergalactic JC. So, uh... The reason Eric Galactic JC got banned this time was uh, because what happened was a moderator told him that Chiss was bad mouthing people in a staff chat, inc including him. Like bad mouthing people, including Eric Galactic JC, in a staff chat. And so Eric Galactic JC did the right thing according to the slander rules, and rather than make a thread on it or a video or something pu go public about it, he went to Chiss to clear up the rumor which Chiss says is pretty much exactly what you're supposed to do. So, I mean, and then Chiss ended up basically demanding that he reveal the identity of the staff member who told him that and called them a corrupt staff member, um, presumably because they're lying. Again, there's no proof that they're lying, no proof that they weren't lying. And so... Eric like JC obviously didn't want to give him up because he promised not to, and he's like one of those people who's like really true to their word, and I respect him for that. I mean, I'm the same way. And so because he didn't reveal the identity, he got network banned. Now, under the terms of service, there is no obligation for any non-staff member to reveal any information. I never broke it, the term. He never broke the server rules, basically. And while the staff member may not have been in the right, two wrongs don't make a right. That's, like, something I get told a lot in real life. Don't ask. Um, anyways, for all we know, Chiss could be doing this to save face and, you know, hide. Maybe he actually did do this and he's just trying to silence the staff member. Or maybe the staff member is mad at Chiss and trying to make him look bad. Either way, I mean, I could see why Chiss would want to uh, find out who the staff member is. However, obviously... I know when I was, like, making false reports, I'd refuse to reveal, like, who made the false report unless they wanted me to say who they were. And what's really funny is, when I got unbanned, they never made me or even asked me to reveal everyone I made false reports with. I mean, they could have asked that if they wanted to. Of course, they would have refused. But they didn't. They didn't even ask it at all. Which is kind of funny, I mean, wouldn't they want to figure out who's making false reports and so that they could shut it down pretty much permanently? Oh, looks like you just got another like. <laughs> anyway, I mean, it'd make more sense to find out fo who the false reporters are that are getting innocent people banned in Mew than a staff member who said some bad things about Chiss. I mean, clearly one's more important than the other. 
And I mean, the word's really one of the few things you have, so you really should like always keep your word. And I mean, when you think about it, people in their videos have talked and even leaked stuff from staff, and they never got punished for it. I mean, I even I've like said some stuff about staff before, like from staff before. And I was, I mean, I've posted public stuff like chats I've had with RP members before, and I didn't even get a warning for it. Then again, I think at that time I was still banned, but, you know. Um, he's basically telling him to break his word, or he'll get banned. And, I mean, Air Galactic JC is one of those people who doesn't lie. So, I mean... Now, the reason why this is bad business sense is because Intergalactic JC is, like, one of the most famous people on Mindplex when you think about it. He has 3,582 friends as of now and over 100,000 profile views. And his threads always get a lot of attention, and they're really high-quality threads. He's really good at providing constructive criticism to the server. So if you ban someone like this for a bad reason, it really hurts your server and your business because, I mean... All his friends will get mad, and they might leave, or they might riot, which will hurt the server. I mean, he could stop writing constructive criticism that Mindplex needs in order to get better. There's just, like, so many bad reasons, or reasons why it's not a good idea to ban this guy. And, I mean, you know, you could ban whoever you want to your server, but it's bad business sense, so... It's just some thoughts, I mean... Tell me what you guys think below, and as always, please like, share, and subscribe, and uh, see you next time.